Uh, welcome to uh, this tutorial. Uh, in this video, I'll be uh, demonstrating how to uh, deal with uh, a transportation uh, problem which is unbalanced. And uh, I'll use Northwest Corner as a method to calculate uh, the transportation uh, cost. Okay. So now, uh, Let's discuss what makes the problem unbalanced. In transportation models, what makes a problem unbalanced is that uh, um, you realize to say the supply and the demand, they do not actually tie. Like you can see this problem that we have on the board here. Um, we have these retail shops which are demanding goods. As you can see, retail one is demanding 7,000, retail two is demanding 5,000, retail three is demanding 3,000, and retail 4 is demanding uh, 2000 all right and then we've got w1 which are suppliers okay or warehouses as the case could be so warehouse one has got the capacity of supplying 7000 units warehouse two has got the capacity of supplying uh, 4000 units and warehouse three has the capacity of supplying 10,000 units now let's see if um this problem is balanced or unbalanced uh, to begin with, uh, let's calculate uh, the total um, supply available, okay? The total supply available, uh, you will see that uh, W1 has uh, 7,000, 7,000 plus 4,000, that uh, makes it 11,000. And um, yes, um, 11,000 plus 10,000 will make it uh, 21,000. So the total supply, as we add this side, is adding up to uh, 21,000. Thousand, okay. Let's see the demand. These are the demands one, two, three, four. Demanding those units. So we've got um, we've got five thousand here, two thousand plus uh, three thousand. That's five thousand, and then uh, five thousand plus five thousand. That's ten thousand. Ten thousand plus uh, seven thousand. That is 17,000. So already we can see that um, this problem is unbalanced. And um, it's unbalanced in such a way that um, um, the demand is actually less than the supply. So we need, we need one more column. Okay? Because the demands are the columns. So if the demands are the ones which are short for, we, we need one more column, which we, are, which we shall call as a dummy. If it was the supply which, which was short, it would have meant that uh, the supplies uh, rose. It would have meant that uh, we needed to add one more row to feed up uh, the supply. Okay? So this is our problem that we have. As you can see, inside um, the sales, we have uh, the cost here. These are costs. These are costs. So we can say this is $2, meaning to transport... Um, an item from warehouse one to retail one, it cost us two dollars. To transport from warehouse one to retail two, uh, three dollars as the case would be. All right. So um, these ones which are seen inside are basically uh, the the cost of uh, shipping or transport uh, transporting. Now, um, as you can see, we need now to come up with a solution so that we can have a balanced problem and then we can apply. Northwest corner to solve uh, this particular problem. So I'll be quick. Uh, let me just now make a provision. Let me make a provision for retail one. Let me make a provision for um, the short four. Uh, here the short four would be 4,000 for it to reach at 21 because this side we have got 21. Here we've got 17. So we need 4,000 extra okay so retail one and then we have uh, retail two and then we have uh, retail three and then we have retail four and then we have a dummy okay and then we have supply this side okay so these are the demands i've made a provision for uh, for an extra uh, uh column for demand Okay, 
I can have these lines drawn like this. Okay, so this is 7,000. That's the demand here. 7,000, 5,000. 3,000. 2,000. And I'm including the 4,000 now for the dummy so that uh, the problem becomes balanced. So that we have 21 demand and then 21 supply. Okay? And then have warehouse one, warehouse two, and three, as the case would be. W1, W2, W3. Superb. So 7,000 here. 4,000 here. 10,000 here. When I add this side, I have 21. When I add this side, I have 21. Now, that way, we will say the problem is now what? Balanced. All right? Let me add the cost there. 3, 2, 11, 7. The cost for the dummy column is always zero since it was not... Um, uh, it is just a provision, not that it really exists, it's just a provi provision to make the, the problem balanced. Okay? We discussed that as we were formulating the linear programming problem for the transportation model. Okay. Five here, eight there, 15 here, nine there. All right? So we have that. And then we can start applying what we are calling as a northwest corner. Now, northwest corner, this is how it works out. The campus looks like this. This is north. This is south. This is east on my right, west there. So when we discuss the northwest corner is where west and north, they are meeting. So northwest corner is there. Now, when you look at... Um, when you look at uh, our problem, the northwest corner will just be, as we are reviewing this cost, the northwest corner will be here. That's the northwest corner. So the northwest corner is basically the furthermost, the furthermost on my left on top. So uh, the left part is this side, on top is that side. Furthermost on my left on top. That's the northwest corner. So now we are starting to allocate um, uh, uh, the supply to particular demand. So the demand for retail one is 7,000 and the supply is 7,000. So I'll bring the entire 7,000 in this box. Okay. So I have the 7,000 there. What does this mean? Um, this demand has been exhausted. So here we are remaining with a zero. And then this supply has also been exhausted. We are remaining with a zero there. Okay. So if these have been made and uh, they've been exhausted, what we are just going to do is we are going to cancel this column to indicate that this column is gone. And uh, we are also going to cancel this row because it has got zero supply. It can no longer supply. So that one is also uh, gone. All right. So now um, what I have here is cost okay so i can say 2000 uh, 2 multiplied by 7000 plus i continue i come now to the remaining um rows and columns which haven't been cancelled this is the reflection of the remaining columns and um rows which have, haven't been cancelled so now the furthermost in the in what is remaining the furthermost on my left on top is basically this side here because we are remaining with this so now the demand is uh, five thousand here but i've got four thousand which i can supply as you can see my warehouse has got four thousand there so uh, what will happen here is um i cannot supply everything so I'll get the 4,000 which is here, bring it here, all right, 
and then I'll say this has been exhausted but as with regard to the demand we still remain with 1000 which has to be fulfilled okay so um, I will now say 1 multiplied by 4000 to indicate that allocation and then the one which has been exhausted is actually this this row so I'll cancel the entire row here okay um, this one hasn't been exhausted so I won't cancel so we're just remaining with this portion and then this portion now the furthermost the northwest corner in this portion is is just this on my left and then there is 1000 which needs to be made here so what will I do I put 10,000 which I'm capable of supplying this is my capacity so from the 10,000 I'll remove a 1000 to come and uh, exhaust this so this has been exhausted it is a zero I can indicate by saying 8 multiply by 1000 I'm continuing from here plus okay now here I'm remaining with the I had 10,000 I've moved 1,000 to here so now I'm remaining with 9,000 okay now um, if I can cancel this because this has come to zero if I can cancel this, I'm only remaining with this. From what I'm remaining, the furthermost to my left is 15. And the demand here is 3,000 and I've got a 9,000 here. So, my cost is 15 there. I'll bring the 3,000 from 9,000 to meet the demand. So, this one is gone. This one I'm remaining with the 6,000. So this one which is gone, I can as well cancel it. And then I'll say 15 multiply by 3,000. Plus, okay, from the 6,000 that I'm remaining with, there's a demand on my feather left here of 2,000. So I'll put a 2,000 here. And I'll say 9 multiplied by 2,000. And then this has been exhausted, so this has been cancelled. I'm only remaining with uh, one, um, one cell here. And uh, from the 6,000 which I had, I, I had allocated 2,000 here. So I'm remaining with 4,000 here. So now 4,000, the demand here is 4,000 and the supply is 4,000. So I'll bring the entire 4,000 there. Alright, so now I'll bring the 4,000 here. So when the 4,000 comes here, this will remain zero and this will remain zero, meaning the problem has been fully um, resolved. Remember the cost in the dummy is zero multiplied by 4,000 there. So now this is what will give me um, the total cost of the transportation model of unbalanced problem using northwest corner using northwest corner so this is 14,000 to multiply by 7,000 and then this is 4,000 and then this the 8 multiply by 1,000 that's 8,000 And this is 45,000, 3 multiplied by uh, 15, that's 45,000. And the last one, 9 multiplied by 2, not the second last, 9 multiplied by 2 is 18,000. And then the last one is 0 multiplied by 4,000, that's 0. So let's get uh, the computation here. Okay. So uh, 14 plus 4 plus 8 
plus 45 plus 18 plus 0. This gives me $89,000. $89,000. Therefore, this is uh, the transportation uh, cost using north west corner thank you